Brawler Net, welcome to Brawl Theory. For this video, we are going to be revealing the origin, the creation of each individual brawler and where they come from. Like, is Ems a zombie or a mummy? Where does the name Byron come from? How was Spike created? In fact, today's theory is less of a theory and more of actual fact. A lot of the information and artwork in today's video actually comes straight from Paul, who is one of the Brawl Stars developers responsible for actually creating each brawler and their backstory. Make sure you guys follow him on Twitter to see some exclusive Brawl Stars concept artwork. And I wanted to give a big thank you to Paul for taking the time to help with this video. Shelly was one of the two original mascots for Brawl Stars when it was going to be a Western themed game called Slugfest. This was actually after Brawl Stars transitioned from a space game project Laser. It should come as no surprise that the name Shelly comes from the fact that she shoots shells of shot from her shotgun. But even before she had that name, she was intended to be Bandit Girl, which means that her Bandita Shelly skin might actually be more true to her character than the default Shelly skin. The team toyed around with the idea of her having a pet chicken to fight with her, and she originally was going to have jet black hair. Needless to say, Shelly has been through a lot of changes through the years. Nita's concept was that of a shaman. In Native American lore, a shaman is able to interact with both good and evil spirits. The name Nita actually means bear in some Native American languages, so my question is, is Bruce an actual bear or a spirit summoned back from the dead? Colt has been in the game since the beginning as a gunslinger and an important icon for the game. He was actually the first character that Brawl Stars made as a high poly 3D model. But what you might find interesting is that he's actually named after the firearms manufacturing company created by Samuel Colt in 1855, who was famous for making revolving pistols that could fire multiple bullets before having to reload. Bull is as straightforward as it comes. His original concept was Bull Guy, and his name Bull comes from the common term of a male Taurus cow. Now, despite his angry personality, he seems to have some sort of a passion with cooking, which is apparent from him owning Bull's Diner. And you might not know this, but this is actually Bull's car. Jessie's concept was that of a mechanic, which isn't surprising. But what is surprising is where her name comes from. The developers are big fans of alliteration, and Junker Jess just kind of has a really nice ring to it. Additionally, Jessie sounds like messy, which fit her because Junkers tend to be messy. I could definitely see Pam being upset at how messy her room was when she was a kid. Which, by the way, Pam and Jessie are one of the few confirmed relationships in Brawl Stars. And if you want to learn which relationships are confirmed, you can actually watch this Brawl Theory video after you finish this one. Now, it's pretty obvious that Brock was named because he fires Brockets. But what you might not know is that before Brock found his identity, Supercell's original concept wasn't a rocket guy, but a rocket girl. In fact, this rocket girl design originated clear back in Brawl Stars' first phase when it was Project Laser. Here's actually a fan concept of what Brockett might have looked like before they decided on Brock. I find Dynamite a bit interesting because his concept was TNT guy, but he was named Dynamite because it sounds so much like Dynamite. In one of his earlier designs, you actually might notice that he has some robotic arm replacements, probably from some explosions gone wrong. Now that I think about it, there might be a reason why he's always wearing gloves. As you can see, Dynamite has changed quite a bit from his original concept. Now you might be surprised to find out that Bo was originally named Bo Dude, and he's named after his main weapon of choice, the bow. And uh, if that surprises you, then you are easily surprised. <laughs> Much like you might be if you accidentally ran into one of his trap mines in the game. Tick's original concept is Cluster Bomb, and it's confirmed that he's named Tick because of time ticking by before his bombs explode. Personally, I think he was named Tick because few things will tick you off more than playing against Tick. The one brawler that I think has a very interesting meaning behind it is 8-Bit. His code name was Arcade, which actually kind of makes sense, but the term 8-Bit refers to the processors used in video game consoles consoles, specifically the video games that you could play on arcade cabinets back in the 80s and 90s. This actually explains the style of Project Laser, the 8-bit minigame that I covered in this video. Now, when you first look at Ems, it's pretty clear that Ems is either a mummy or a zombie. She's got Z-brand hairspray for zombie, but she's also wearing bandages around her body like a mummy. In truth, She's actually both. Her original concept was actually a mummy, but her name EMZ or EMS is actually short for Emo Mummy Zombie. And that's just confirmation that we had an emo in the game long before Edgar ever joined Brawl Stars. Stu's name is actually a bit of a mystery. Some people think that it's short for stunt because he's a stunt bot, but I've actually seen people suggest that Stu is short for Star Park Testing Unit. 
Either way, his concept was Roller, which makes sense because of his quick charging rolling super. El Primo's story is actually kind of funny. His conception was a luchador, which is a masked wrestler, common in the Mexican culture. So El Primo is Mexican and Primo is Spanish, but when the developers learned that Primo is close to first or number one in Italian, they decided to run with it because that's totally Primo, right? <laughs> to keep him Spanish, they threw L at the front of it to make it sound more like a good Spanish name for a luchador. But the funny thing is, is that in Spanish, El Primo actually just means the cousin, which sounds a lot less Primo than first. It's okay, El Primo. You'll always be number one in our hearts. Up next, we have Barley, who was always designed to be a barkeep. In fact, his name is actually a double pun since he's a bartender and beer is actually typically brewed from Barley. This is actually one of Barley's very early drawing concepts. And even though he's human, you can actually see that he's maintained a lot of personality ever since being changed into a robot. Now, Poco's code name in the Brawl Stars files is Dead Mariachi, which is actually a traditional Mexican musician. Now, un poco means a little in Spanish, but poco is also a common Italian term used in music for a little quieter or a little louder or even a little faster or slower. Now, Rosa's in-game code name was actually always Rosa, but her name is a lot more than just being a botanist who loves roses. According to Paul, she was heavily based off of Rosa Parks because Rosa Parks was a pretty serious bad A and they wanted Rosa to be one of their most bad A characters in the game. Honestly, I think that's really awesome and it just makes me love Rosa even more. Now, Rico's first concept was Trickshot Dude. In fact, one of his first drawings actually kind of looks a lot like Colt. And at one point before Brawl Stars was ever released publicly, Rico was originally going to be an Irish hitman robot named Rick O'Shea. And interestingly enough, the sound guy who does the voice lines for Rico has a thick Irish accent even though he's not actually Irish. But even in Brawl Stars Beta, Rico went from the name of Ricochet, the billiards pool bot, which very much looked like the Ricochet skin that was gifted to players during the 2019 Brawl days. But when the game went global, his name was shortened to Rico and he was reworked to better fit the arcade environment. Daryl's original concept was made when Brawl Stars was in its Western phase. At first, he was actually a robot made from a barrel used to store tequila. They decided to remove the alcoholic aspect of it and just made him a barrel bot. And eventually he became a pirate barrel bot. And another pirate brawler we've got was Penny. Now her original concept was Artillery Gal. And obviously her name comes to the fact that she fires coins or pennies at her enemies. Now Carl's brawler concept was actually Whirlwind, which makes a lot of sense because of his super. As for his real name, in the words of Paul, this is going to be a little bit of a groan moment, but uh, Carl, since he's in a cart, Carl. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Another simply named miner is Jackie, whose original concept was Driller, and who was named after her weapon of choice, the Jackhammer. Now, Piper is such a good sniper that her design name was just Sniper. She's Piper the Sniper, and she fires a gunbrella that will hit you hard if you get hit. And she also bakes explosives. Now, Pam actually has a really interesting story behind her name. She was originally going to be Minigun Dude, and this is just a fan concept, but maybe this could have been Pam, right? Now, later, she was given the prototype name Mama J. Interestingly enough, Paul, who designed Pam, wanted to call her Tiff, as in getting into a little tiff with someone, like a fight or a scrap, which makes sense because she's a scrap hunter. Now, when the team actually voted on her name, Paul was out of town, so they came to the name Pam, which kind of just fit her because of the line, wham, bam, here comes Pam. With that said, in an alternate universe, Pam very well could have been named Tiff, which I honestly think fits her personality pretty well too. Now, Frank's concept was Hammer Dude, and a lot of people might think that he's named after the team lead of the Brawl Stars developer team, but actually, if I remember correctly, Frank wasn't even working on Brawl Stars when the brawler Frank was put into the game. In truth, Frank is short for Frankenstein, which is exactly what he looks like. Now, BB's original concept was just baseball, and that's actually what she's named after as well, Baseball BB. And just for a little bit more, Bubble Gum also has a lot of bees in it, which is perfect because that kind of completes her design. Now, B is an entomologist or somebody who studies insects who very much loves bees. Interestingly enough, her original concept name was just actually B Sniper, probably because they knew they wanted to put a bee-loving brawler in the game, and they wanted another sniper as well. Now, Nani concept name was actually just Controller, which is given to her by the fact that she can control Peep with her super, right? Now, she's named Nani because she's actually Jessie's nanny. Now, according to Paul, she's an old security droid that was retrofitted by Pam to be a nanny cam to Jessie when Pam was out hunting scrap. 
Pop. And then you have Peep, which is what you control when you're using Nani Super. And Peep is also a camera. Now, Edgar's concept was the Enrager, which honestly makes a lot of sense. It kind of fits his personality perfectly. Now, I originally thought that he was named Edgar because he's an edgy teenager. But according to Paul, Edgar is one of the most popular emo boy names inspired by Edgar Allan Poe. Now, Mortis's original concept was Undertaker. Unsurprisingly, this name comes from the Latin root word mort, which means death. But something that's also interesting is that the team thought it would be funny to have a Ricochet and Mortis in the game as a reference to Rick and Morty. <laughs> now, Tara's concept name was Black Hole, which is actually something the team clearly wanted to put into the game from the very start. During its Project Laser days, here was a portable Black Hole character. And during its Slug Fest days, here was a Tarot Card Reader. Her name was originally going to just be Tarot after the fortune-telling tarot cards, but somebody pointed out that's a boy's name, so they went with Tara. Next is Gene, who is clearly named for being a genie. His concept is Hook, which is based off of his super that hooks enemies and pulls them to him. And this is actually one of the first ever drawn images of Gene. This is just evidence that every brawler starts with a doodle. Max's original concept was Speedy. She's named for always running at max speed, which is simple, but it's kind of the perfect characterization for her. Now, Mr. P's name obviously comes from him being a penguin, right? His original concept was Spawner Dude, and they wanted to name him Peng, but decided to rule that out for something a little bit more. Well, let's just say they decided to go with Mr. P instead. <laughs> now, one thing that's interesting about Sprout is the fact that the name refers to the plant inside the machine, but the actual brawler is the seed incubator robot. It's the machine that's on wheels, whose original concept name is Wally. -E. Obviously, this is based off of Pixar's animation film, which gives some insight behind Sprout's personality. Now, Byron's original concept name is Snake Oil. A snake oil salesman is a term for somebody who deceives people with fake potions to make a profit off of them while they think they're being healed from something. Byron is clearly inspired by snakes, and the team wanted the name to sound really intimidating to match. Now, Frank actually found a snake family called the Myron Snake, and since he's a salesman that people buy from, they combine those two with the name Byron, which is very intimidating. <laughs> Next, we've got Spike, and he was obviously named for him being a spiky cactus. It's as simple as that, but his backstory was originally rather gloomy. The story is that his eyes are bullet holes from a showdown that happened between two cowboys. Don't ask me how he came to life after after that, but there's clearly still a lot we don't know about this mysterious cactus. Another mysterious brawler is Crow. He's a crow, and that's who he is. He's been a part of the game since the Wild West days, and there's not really much else that we know about him. Now next we have Leon, whose original concept was Ninja. He's designed with clothes inspired by a chameleon, and that's where his name comes from the last four letters of the name Chameleon. Interestingly enough, another name that Leon might have had could have been Cam, which is short for Camouflage or Cami. Now Sandy's original concept was Sandstorm for his super. He's named Sandy because he's a sleepy sand man who also attacks with sand, right? makes sense. Now next we have Amber who was originally going to be Fire Dude. Now the idea was to name her after the glowing embers of a fire. Amber actually isn't a reference to fire, right? It's fossilized tree resin, but Amber and Ember sound kind of close enough. Next is Gale whose concept is Blower because he blows strong gales of wind with his snowblower. The idea was to create a brawler that could push enemies away rather than pull them close like Gene does. Now it's probably no surprise that Surge's original concept was Power Leveler since he ramps up in power as he upgrades from level to level. As for his name, a surge is a strong volume of something passing through, like energy or electricity or even max energy drink. Now his voice line, Surge Protector, is actually a play on words where he's the protector of Super City, but you also have surge protectors, which save your electronics from electrical surges. Now Colette's origin is kind of interesting. Her concept is Percenter, because her attacks deal damage as percentages of enemy health. And she's named Colette because she's so obsessed with Brawl Stars that she likes to collect stuff from the brawlers, right? <laughs> Next, we have Lou, whose concept is Ice Dude, which a lot, like a lot of brawlers, is based off of his super, which freezes enemies. He himself is a snow cone machine, but he's named Lou because he's chilly like an Ig Lou. Finally, we have Colonel Ruffs, and he's a very interesting brawler because his design actually predates most of the brawlers in the game and hasn't been changed much, even though he was only just recently released. He's a grumpy bad A space commander who's named after cute little dogs that go ruff ruff. Now, I want to know what the most surprising thing is that you learned from this video. If you liked what you saw and you want to watch some more Brawl Theory videos, I've got some right over here. And also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future ones. That is the origin of every brawler in Brawl Stars. But hey, that's just a theory. A Brawl Theory. You just go Carson Brawl Star Shop.